What is going on guys, my name is Dominic and you're tuning in to episode number 6, nah I don't like that, thanks for stopping by to episode number 6 of my base visit series here. I shouldn't have said that, I should not have said that. Yeah. And just a quick note, thank you guys so much for your entries here, I did get quite a chunk last last episode so that helped me out a lot here because it was dying down a bit so thank you guys one more time so yep let's start off here we're going into outlaws youtube clan here and first off here we have zia so looking at his base here and wow that's looking brilliant actually every defense is maxed out here walls are looking solid he's maxing out no, these walls now to level 10 everything is level 9 at the moment town hall 9 of course um what can i say first thing i just say is get those air sweepers to level 5 at the moment level 3 they're not looking too strong at level 3 but they're in brilliant placement at the moment covering nice side of this base and the opposite side of that base covering that air defense so they are in very good placement so just upgrade them and they'll be even stronger i can tell this base is scaring players off because you only get in town hall sniped here and or maybe just the town hall snipers get to you a lot quicker than the actual attackers do Air exposed nicely, one on ground, but the others on, I mean, one's on air on ground and the other's just on ground. I say put this one on ground because, as you can see, it covers quite a lot of unwanted space here, space where the troops won't really be needed, and if you have it on ground, it will sort of cover that area still. So I just say put that last one on ground, and yeah, I can see you're from the UK, that nice national flag right there, like me, of course. And yeah, so heroes, looking at your heroes, um, get them, I can see you upgrading them one by one, so you're upgrading one king then the queen that's what i'm saving up for at the moment i'm trying to save up 145k to get my two heroes upgraded at the same time so hopefully that works out and yeah so another thing i just say dark elixir drills are only level five well not only but they're level five so i say max those dark elixir drills out because you're going to want to get them to level six level five is good but level six is a lot better and you that's it you don't have to focus, look at those two anymore for upgrades just one more for a town or tent and that's it but yes yeah, so i'd say don't focus on going town or ten too soon here at the moment just max out those heroes get them to at least level 25 each max out those walls to level 10 and honestly you'll be invited to every single clan out there if you max out your base looking at your troops and spells every spell is not not maxed okay every spell is maxed except the healing spell here so i just say max out the healing spell and yeah so just max out the, that healing spell and get that poison spell to level three as well because that the poison spell is the best don't really worry about the other two spells of course they're just there to make your profile look better if you do level those up but they are both very weak spells like for example the earthquake use four earthquakes they still destroy level 11 war at level one so what's the point i don't know but anyways looking at your troops goblins level four of course just upgrading them when you want to make your profile look a bit better oh, but it is amazing at a moment every other troop is maxed here except their valkyries so when you have a spare dark elixir before going to or 10 just max those valkyries out gold grab is looking absolutely brilliant over 550 million gold grab for over 500 million elixir grabbed here and looking at your dark elixir one, almost 1.5 million dark elixir grabbed here so very solid looking profile and base it's war stars over 200 so that's good and your spoils of war achievement almost or just over a quarter way past that achievement so yeah just like i said just max those walls max those heroes max those dark elixir drills before over priority over those level 10, 9 walls at the moment but yep so that's it from you thank you see ya next here we have Debo from Debo's army, and I know this one, he is their leader, and I can tell even before looking he's a maxed out base, because what leader of a free, free clan tree here, they are free clans, Debo 1, 2, and 3, this is Debo 1, by the way, he doesn't say it, but looking at your base, what more can I say, you've got maxed heroes, maxed everything, honestly, except one last thing I'd just say, Inferno Tower is only on single, I, maybe that does good for you, I don't know, I've never seen a replay, one more thing I'm just realising, Air defences, look at them, they're right in the corners, hardly pr protecting anything. I don't know if you're getting attacked from air raids, because you are almost in Titan, so you must be getting attacked from air. I don't know if these air sweepers in the corner do do good for you, because maybe you know I, my, well, my idea at the moment just off to my head if you're getting attacked by Gola, Laloon, if you have two lava hounds there, they're going to be travelling across the whole base. Um, 
probably will get picked off by everything while they travel across the whole base. Maybe that's my interpretation of this base, but other than that, everything is maxed. Of course, just max the walls out when you have the loot because there's nothing else you can do. Very nice base, I think, getting you into ma a very high master one, champion one, champion one here, but yep. And spell wise, Earthquake is only level one. Of course, like I said before, four Earthquakes can take out in a level four, 11, a chunk of level 11 walls, so what's the point? Every troop is max here, just max a poison spell, and yeah, there's not much reviewing for this base because it's absolutely beast. <laughs> Even the air sweepers are in absolutely brilliant position. So, next off here, we have Chico TBK from Moiv yeah, Moivillands. Chico TBK from Moivillands. And looking at his base here. Oh, no. Wait. What kind of attacker talks the whole base, but not the town hall? Honestly, <laughs> that's something I do here, but... Yeah, sorry Chico, I will put you on to the next episode. First, first, you're first on the list for the next episode here, so I'll just get a pencil, just get it on the paper, and very professional there. So yeah, Chico, just you'll be first on the next episode. Hopefully I catch your base loaded here, but there's no point in me doing a base which is broken. So yeah. Okay, fourth here we have Clash Turnit. We have Siligol from Clash Turnity. I'm assuming it's a girl here, unless there's a guy who wants to be treated as a go clash of clans or interpreted as a go clash of clans level 72 here and looking at their base looking very nice at the moment so you're upgrading a clan castle so i'd say it's about time you upgrade unless you just turned levels i'm i'm looking at your base i think you just turned town hall um yeah i think you just turned town hall 8 here so i think you maxed out all your walls yeah you just turned town hall 8 there's no doubt about that you're, up you're upgrading those cannons here so yeah, my advice here, you're upgrading the clan castle, good choice. You've got your spell factory, I mean, your laboratory, I think that's there. So, okay, my advice now, you've got you've got that air defense to level 5. So, no, you didn't just turn town away because you... Oh, I'm so confused. Okay, so you're upgrading one barrack to level 4 to get the golems, of course. That's all, that's all your Dark Elixir troops of Town Hall 8. Um, What else is there? Air sweepers in a very nice position. I, th I think you just need to buy your second one. I think you can have two for Tunnel 8. If I'm wrong, correct me. Sorry, I'm please. Sorry, I'm please. Okay. Dark Elixir Draw. I can see this one is only level 1. I'd say get that one to level 3, of course, to get your king up nicely upgraded. I'd say start using a farming base because you're in you're in silver 1. So I'd say make a farming base. There's no point pushing in silver 1. And just put the Dark Elixir and Clan Castle in the middle of your base here. But very nice looking base here. Looking at your troops, I think that's all max for Town Hall 7 here. So, of course, max him out for Town Hall 8. Unlock the P.E.K.K.A. and all that. And Gold Grab, ooh, almost hit 100 million Gold Grab. So, that's brilliant. Over 100 million ele over 100 million Elixir Grab there. And almost got that second star for the Heroic Heist Achievement. So, yep, like I say, just max out those walls. Max out the Barbarian King. Put, start using a farming base and that should be all good. And finally, from beast mode here, we have anonymous, anonymous, anonymous. Looking at this base, you are brand new town hall nine here. Expos purchased. You've purchased the both expos, and looking at this base, you've just turned town hall nine here. I can see at the moment. Very nice. You've maxed out all your walls already. You're getting your queen. Oh wow! Already going to level nine at the moment. So that's brilliant. One thing I'd say that you have not done yet: army camps. Army camps are your priority at the moment. With all that elixir you have, there's no way you cannot be upgrading your. Okay, maybe you haven't got a build. Maybe you haven't got the builders for it. Yeah, you haven't got the builders for it at the moment. Fair enough. But when those builders are done, you're only focusing on the army camps. Max those army camps out. Gets an extra twenty troops. That's one whole dragon. Even though you don't use dragons at Town Hall Nine. Sorry, do not listen to what I said. Yeah. So, expos going level one because you're in a warring clan. You're level. You're in level six warring clan. Mm, do not upgrade those expos, leave them at level 1, and yeah, air sweeper, beautiful place, level 4 there, this one is beautiful place, level 3, so of course, max those air, air, air sweepers out, level 5 there, and of course, do not upgrade those cannons or archer towers, the only defense I'd say upgrade is air defenses, and yeah, your base is looking absolutely amazing, max out those air defenses I meant there, so yep, yeah, your base, you're doing everything I want, you're even not getting a wall to level 9, that's even better than what I was thinking when I first went town on 9, even though I went Town Hall 9 with pink walls and a level 5 Barbarian King, so... 
Yeah, that was when I was a noob. But I'm, I'm still am a noob. But anyway, so looking at your troops, everything is maxed for Town Hall Eight. Even the Valkyries right there. So that's brilliant. Of course, um, unlock the Lava Hound so you can start doing the advanced attack strategies. Max out your Hog Riders and Golems. That's your priority actually. Get the Hogs to level five and the Golems to level three so you can do the Go Hogs attack strategies. Other than that, also just get the balloons to level 6. That's a beautiful troop to get to level 6. Max that out. Gold grab. Oh my gosh. That's, wow. Over 400 million gold grabs and almost 350 million elixir grabs. So that's brilliant. And yeah, you've got an absolutely beautiful profile. About the same heroic heist in, as me. And War Hero is looking alright at the moment. So yeah, awesome base anonymous and you're doing everything I would have when I went town line. So yeah guys, that's going to wrap it up for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like, subscribe and put your base in the comments section for another episode. So that's it from me guys and bye bye.